In this video, we see a small waterfall, we see a larger waterfall, and I'm reunited with my old friend. Today, we're heading north of Webwood, Ontario to see Gordon Chutes, a picturesque waterfall on the Wakanasan River. It's about an hour and a half drive from Sudbury. This is Webwood, a small town on the Trans-Canada Highway. It was first settled in 1883 by a man named Andrew Webb. Mr. Webb provided wood for the train engines on the CPR line, hence the name Webwood. This old photo of this road was taken in 1910. It is also home of the late Barbara Hanley. She was the first woman in Canadian history to be elected as mayor and served in that office from 1936 to 1944. The Webwood genealogy website has a lot of interesting information on it, including details about a tragic train accident that happened in 1910. We arrived to an empty parking lot below the chutes, and I'm happy to have my fully recovered companion back with me. He's even happier. I thought this would be a good time to express my appreciation to everyone who has watched my little adventures on YouTube. Over the last 18 months, I have received so many kind and supportive comments from viewers and other content creators. There are now too many people to mention in a quick video like this. But today, I will highlight three channels that, and without any prompting from me, kindly mention my channel to their own viewers. The first is Jim Hayes Hiking. Jim does a lot of hiking and backpacking in the mountains in and around Virginia. He's a great storyteller, and the shots he gets from the tops of the mountains are quite amazing. Thanks for your support, Jim. The next is Hiking with Kathleen. I was drawn to Kathleen's channel because of her wildlife photography. A skilled nature photographer, Kathleen also shares her knowledge of all living things in our Ontario forests. I learn something new in every episode. Thank you, Kathleen. And finally, Living History, a channel that features content from my hometown of Sudbury, but many other areas as well. When it comes to imparting history in videos, I just scratch the surface. Warren does a deep dive. All of his content is incredibly well researched. He has in-depth interviews and he delves into local and regional history with an infectious enthusiasm. Thanks Warren. I would also like to give a quick thank you to some other people who have gone out of their way to help me over the past year. Jansen from Jay Steele's Adventure and Variety, Age from Ages Adventures, Michelle and Olger of Backroad Journals, and Mark from Open Air Outdoors. Thank you so much for your guidance and suggestions. Links to everyone I've mentioned can be found in the video description. And to everyone else who has watched, liked, commented, and subscribed, I am very grateful to you as well. I hope my little adventures and misadventures, as you will see in the next video, entertain or inform you just a little. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.